Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This show's Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, we'll get shot to the notification game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, so some breaking news actually done happen, right? First, we got to talk about Rainwater and Yellow Beezy, the long awaited court case that, you know, obviously everybody knows that Rainwater was suing Yellow Beezy because a while ago, some years ago, like four years ago, uh, they pretty much chased Rainwater down inside of a club. Well, actually, Rainwater ran outside of the club. Y'all probably saw the video and into the road in the street where they ended up catching up to him and beating him. I don't want to say beating him to death, but they beat him to the point where his hip was broke or something happened with his hip. I think he and had some type of hip replacement surgery or some type of surgery where he had to get some work done on his hip in which he then took it to uh, the courts and said, you know what, I'm going to sue Yellow Beezy and whoever else that I actually can to get some millions of dollars or just get a whole bunch of paper, right? Well, they finally did go to court and I will let y'all know what happened or the outcome of that situation. And last but not least, I reported a while ago that uh, Finesse Two Times had finessed a guy, well, not finessed him, but reused a verse uh, that an artist named Fresh Porter had paid 30K for, right? And he pretty much went in Finesse Two Times. Well, now that artist has actually booked the show that he's going to be hosting. And guess who he actually booked to perform? Finesse Two Times. We'll get into that as well. Anyway, so let's go ahead and just start it out with the whole Yellow Beezy news. So it does look like Yellow Beezy has been, well, I don't want to say sentenced because this is a civil case. It wasn't a criminal case, right? Uh, I'll just read the headline. It says, Rainwater and Yellow Beezy trial has ended in a judgment of $356,000, which is actually was a little more than that. I actually did the calculations, uh, has been awarded to Rainwater. His attorney will take a portion. Now, I don't know how much his attorney is going to take, but either way, Buddy's still going to have a whole lot of extra money to have right now. Uh, this is the judgment that was made because they felt that, you know, what the negligence that Yellow Beezy actually did, uh, he, he's owed that money from like surgeries and all this other type of stuff, right? He has to pretty much pay that money for, right? You already know Yellow Beezy did respond to this immediately and we will get to that response right after we check out the comment section, right? So the first comment sa says, I know this ain't for that fight, in which it is for that fight. Let's see what the response was to that. Gotta be, can't be, laugh myself. It definitely is for the fight. A lot of people with a lot of smiling emojis, laughing emojis. I don't even know Rain, but I seen how he keep uh, instigate a situation, but he wants to play victim and a citizen knowing as his doctor bills wasn't not, no, 600K is crazy work. Rain ain't no gangster. Why y'all mad at him? Yella gotta move better. Next person said, Rain a gangster, but he but he won't get involved in gangster stuff. Then play the civilian role when it's convenient. He might sell 250k though. Dang, watch Unk get put in that blender and have to pay a side that mixed up. Get put in that blender and have to pay the side that's mixed up. I know he mad. And then, of course, a lot of laughing emojis. Somebody says, Lone Live 3. Of course, y'all know what that means. Uh, I, there is a song playing on the background of people's laughing. It's called Keeping in the Streets by Yellow Beezy. Actually, I think that's one of Yellow Beezy's hardest songs. Uh, it's called Keeping in the Streets Super Hard. The next person said, Rainwater, you a old boy. Real life shaking my head, but I know you ain't no screek nigga. Still a old do. And then Rainwater actually responded to this comment and said, the biggest. Next, he said, uh, so next person said, this chest, not checkers. Rainwater 2024. Uh, get rain gone and the city will come together. Watch. Oh, dang. I'm a backwoods and we ain't stop living, Pepper. What happened, though? Obviously, somebody don't know about the whole fight that happened like four years ago. That nigga wild for this, but it's smart. Medical bills, 251K plus attorney fees and taxes equals. Not enough. Was it worth it? Rain okay, this guy has absolutely no clue how much money he's going to actually get. He's just making a, a, an assumption, right? 
He said, you know, thought he was fit to get M's. Hey, man, even if you don't get M's, getting even getting 100,000 is good. Even 50,000 would be good. But 356,000, let's just say he has to give 100,000 to his lawyer, which I know his lawyer's not going to take $100,000. But hey, just to say this, then he'd be left with $256,000, which is still a lump sum of money that a lot of y'all would do a whole lot of stuff in order to get right. Attorney get 40% of that litigation phase. Even if it is 40%, that's still a lot of money to get. I bet Travis girl Frederica looking at his boyfriend like this nigga is not finna give dude that money it's over with now speaking of not giving dude that money I told y'all Yellow Beezy did actually come back and respond <laughs> and it doesn't look like Yellow Beezy planning on giving Rainwater no type of money at all so Yellow Beezy pretty much when, once I get to his response I'll pull it back on there right so there was a video of Kodak Black where Kodak Black was like man people be asking me for money and I tell him that money, that bitch you sit on the Instagram, that money's fake. That ain't my money. So Yellow Beezy pretty much reposted what Kodak Black said a while ago. So Yellow Beezy put the caption and said, I'm just a regular street dude. I am not rich. In which uh, he put this as well on his post. He says, I'm not no money, man. These hoes be asking me for money. They be like, I'm going to get some money, baby. You're I I ain't got no money. That money you be seeing me with on Instagrams, that be fake money, man. That be prop money. That This is not my money, girl. I do not have nothing over these shit. So that's just pretty much Yellow Beezy subliminally, well, even more than subliminally, pretty much saying, hey, listen, man, I ain't got no paper. Uh, I'm just a regular street dude. Him telling me I ain't got nothing to give you, buddy. You don't want this case, but I ain't got nothing to give you. So it here what it is. You ain't getting nothing out of me. Right now, here's what I will say. 50 Cent has sued many, 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 many people, right? And 50 Cent knows some way to always, I'm talking about, I think Young Buck, his old artist, just finished paying back like 1.2 million or some humongous lump sum of money, right? I don't know if, if maybe Yellow Beezy can do, so, it can work like the financial system and file like some, some chapter 11s. I've been hearing that word a lot or some type of bankruptcies or something. I don't know. But what I do know is this will be interesting seeing how Rainwater will respond and what he'll be saying in order to get his money. Will he go to trolling like 50 Cent and be trolling all of his people that owes him money, right? And it's like an actual court judgment. So, I mean, we'll just have to see how they both actually play it, right? Now, the comment section on these actually said, I can honestly say I never seen bruh post no money. Have I ever seen Yellow Beezy post, actually post money on Instagram? I'm trying to think about it. Uh, I don't I don't actually think I mean in the music videos. Yeah, but on Instagram actually I don't know I don't really be looking at the Instagram like that a lot but I, I personally I just still have never seen it uh, But um, we'll just have to see how it goes like I said, right? But in obviously the videos, but that could be any money what you know what I mean? We'll just have to see how it goes <clears throat> anyways Well, he said better get to pay the date season all your stuff like cars and chains is coming in now I, I don't know if they'll be able to seize all that. Maybe they can actually I'm not sure I know the, the government for taxes will but maybe they will for this as well since it's like a court order kind of thing right like i say we just have to see how it goes and the next person says they gonna get that bread out his yellow ass we uh when they start season he'll pay i don't have nothing gotta get it like i oh, got a title what the heck gotta get it like ali got a title and i think this good dude got a lot of kids so, I mean, it's just a lot of people were laughing. Well, everybody's taking this as just entertainment. Nobody's actually taking this serious, even though it is like an actual serious situation. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, people still have their jokes on what they're going to do. But anyways, now we got to get to the main topic of the day. Well, that was technically kind of my main topic, but we're going to switch it around, right? So next, we got to talk about the rapper that goes by the name of Fresh Porter, who has officially, officially uh -huh. booked finesse two times to come and perform right and not just to come perform so y'all yeah, remember a while ago i reported that this guy named fresh porter let me actually move uh this right let me see so i reported that this guy named fresh porter where the mouse is at to the left of the screen there was mad at finesse two times because finesse two times gave him a verse but then finesse two times ended up reusing that verse again and this guy paid thirty thousand dollars for that verse right well it does look like fresh porter he doubled back and he actually booked finesse two times here goes the artist contract he booked them for <clears throat> for uh, i think it's october yeah october 1st 2024 which is in a few days uh pretty much in his city and you know on top of that the reason he did that was so some people was like 
give uh, Porterville Baby, which is his Instagram name, that 30K back, in which Finesse two times responded, tell him come get it with his muscles. So he literally told him to come get it, and his plan to come get his 30K back was, hmm, okay, how about I just book you back to my city, and we'll see how that goes then if you're still going to be telling me to come get it with my muscle at that particular time, right? So he pretty much Finesse two times said, tell him come get it back with his city, in which he actually – Booked finesse two times. I mean, this is the actual fire that he did. Uh, he's got the rat there. He's got the clown face there. And then, of course, he came and wrote this, right? He said, finesse two times. First show since BBL surgery. October 1st, paperwork party. Live from the three. Roasted. I mean, hosted by Fresh Porter, which is him. Finesse will be biting crab legs open for his fans. And he will be performing P-Talk, which P-Talk has that verse that you know, that, 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 that guy that this is all over the start, all this, right? P talk to Mupp, because tell him to stop. He will be tap dancing to red and blue tips, and we might even get his hogs to show up. Obviously, when he says his hogs, he means his girlfriends, because in the previous post, he had called them hogs. Uh, and it continues, and it says, this is a must-see event. The show may go on all night. Same Mitch, you don't want to miss this. Tickets go on sale soon. 30K well spent, sister soldier. So he reinvested another 30K just to give Finesse two times to come out and actually respond, right? So, you know, with all that being said, bro, this is absolutely insane. Um, if, if Listen, bro, if I don't know what it'd be like if Finesse two times actually shows up at this place to actually try to do a performance there, right? I mean, like, bro, this is insane. This is this is like a, a, a powerful, a chess move. Um, you know, it's definitely a chess move. I have to say that. But, like, I don't know. This could go wild. Like, this could go crazy. Because we, we know, let's just be real, Finesse two times. We we it's known for stuff happening at his shows and him not really ducking a Rex. You know what I'm talking about? We, I did make a video in the past where he had to like crawl to his car, all type of wild, crazy stuff, right? So I don't know, fam. This is just something that's insane, and we just have to see how this goes. Hopefully, everybody makes that alive, be okay, and no no serious issues happen. Hopefully, they you can just talk this out and just get it figured out that way. I mean, technically, Vanessa Two Time haven't actually released that other song yet. You know, tell my yeah, he done preview previewed the song, preview that verse on another song, but he ain't just actually like release it, release it. Yeah, but hey, but then on top of that, Vanessa Two Time say he ain't never ducking no Rex. So you know, with that being said, we'll just have to see how it goes. Anyway, so we spoke about Rainwater actually getting a judgment of $350,000 from Yellow Beezy. And last but not least, you've got Fresh Porter has actually booked Finesse two times to come back to a city after he felt disrespected. Anyways, let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.